Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today I have a whiskey on the cask that I really don't know. But I have been to Japan, all around Japan, that the, all the major whiskey distilleries, except the, I think it's called Helios, down at the very, very, very south, so I haven't been there. But I've been around the whole country, visited all the distilleries, except the Cheetah Distillery. You cannot visit the Cheetah Distillery because it's um, kind of an industrial in this uh, facility. So um, the Cheetah Distillery is a grain distillery. So we do have here, a, where does it say? Single grain whiskey. So it comes from a single distillery and is a grain whiskey. So it's a single grain whiskey. Um, so I haven't been there, but I've done some research what this cheetah whiskey is all about. The Japanese are all about blending. So they distill different products, mature different products, and then they blend it together to get the perfect whiskey. And so what they did here is they had uh, three different types of grain that they mixed. So grain distillates. Um, usually they have a light, medium and heavy one and then they blend them together so they get the whiskey with a, a good amount of complexity. Um, I couldn't even, I didn't even visit the distillery so I didn't even drive past it but I find, found out that I actually drove yeah pretty much near nearby um, so I was on the highway and there was down the, the port in Nagano and that's where the Cheetah distillery lies. And uh, this port kind of area is where all the, the grain is coming in, where all the, the um, what do you call it, animal food is produced and all the, the, I think maybe flour milling is also down there. But you saw a lot of silos with a lot of grain in that. And that's where also the Cheetah distillery is located to take the grain and make a whiskey out of it. But uh, I went around there with the, what you call it, the Google Maps in 3D and went to the website and they don't really have, a, what you call it, a location. And then you have to Google Translate all the names and I found the Cheetah Distillery. But the, the picture on the website for the Cheetah Distillery, I think that's the All Farming Silo Corporation LTD. Um, but the the other the cheetah distillery is a bit of a more ugly building down south from that one, so maybe that's just their I don't know their their storage facility uh, operated by some of their friends like the they they the all farming silo maybe has the grain from the farming stores it for them and then they take what they need. So what is inside this bottle? We have a distillate made from mainly corn, but also wheat and rye, which is very interesting. Uh, I've also written down the, the different types. Uh, the heavy is done in two columns, the medium in three columns, and the clean type in four columns. So probably they have uh, higher column stills. Usually when you, you have a higher column still, you have a clearer distillate. And when you run out of space because you're not allowed to build higher, then you just take the top from the, the still and connect it to the next column. So that's where you, where you get a, a two column column still. And when you ha want to have a four column column still, then you have to build four columns next to each other and connect them all. So you have a, and then you get a really, really, really clean type. Yeah. I think enough said. I don't know much more about it. It unfortunately doesn't say anything about uh, age or anything else and hard to open. And, ooh, <laughs> probably they don't use any coloring. <laughs> it doesn't say. It doesn't say that they use coloring and usually if they sell it to us, they have to tell us uh, by law in Germany. So it, I think it's not colored, but it's, it's pretty bright and what I always do is um, I always cut my nails to look a bit clean before videos, which is really bad when you want to open uh, the bottles. 
Yeah, as expected, you get a scoop cap. So it's a industrial size whiskey. Let's see if we get a, a good whiskey out of it. What does it also say on here? Suntory Spirits Limited, 223 Daiba Minato Gu Tokyo. Oh, that's probably where they bottle it. Suntory is a, a very, very big company. They just bought Beam, which was a very, very big company, and now they're a giant company. And Suntory is a, yeah, it's like the Coca Cola of Japan. And they do have, they're famous for water and spirits and other beverages and other drinks. So they are famous for everything to drink. Oh, it's very, very sweet. Get a lot of honey. Oh, a lot of honey. It's, oh. Um, vanilla pudding, honey and vanilla pudding, but it's, it's the, the the smell is it's, it's strange. It's usually you you do have more volume in there. It's it's a it's just a fresh note of mm, sweetness with a bit of flowers and roses. And a lot of honey, like a, like you would expect a Japanese flower field to smell like. Hmm. 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 Oh, it's a, it's very sweet as well and fresh, like a bit of a, a minty touch, but you do get that, that grain flavor. You just realize it's not a, not a malt whiskey. It's just a grain flavor in there with a lot of honey and flowers and minty touch in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's it's incredibly smooth as well. So it's a easily drinkable, lightly sweet and flowery whiskey that doesn't have that malty touch, but uh, a bit more flat grainy touch to it. I think it's not one of the premium ones. I think it's rather beginner's whiskey for people who like yeah who like the grain whiskey who like it a bit yeah who, who are used to the entry prices so if you like a, a relatively yeah standard nicely easeable easy drinking whiskey from from japan then this might bottle this bottle might be the right one for you Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to go around on our website. You will find a lot of information about Japanese whiskey distilleries. I've just done a tour through 11 Japanese whiskey distilleries. So please feel free to go to whiskey.com and find out all about Japanese whiskey. Thanks and see you next time.